Okay. Okay, so let's take a look. Enes Kantar is a basketball player. He is a follower of a CIA asset cult, a Turkish CIA asset cult. Uh, Fethullah Gulen is his, the leader of this cult. Uh, Enes Kantar is also a LeBron hater. Uh, he's also overall just not good at what he does with respect to like the rest of the NBA. And because of that, because of how bad he is at basketball, even though he'd fucking destroy me, obviously, don't get me wrong, but because of how bad he is at basketball, he has uh, chosen to, you know, generate controversy and attention for himself Absolutely. in other ways. And that's Mr. Freedom. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on becoming a citizen. Tell us why you've done this. Why you've I'm I'm not gonna lie. The only thing Enes Kantar has going for him is that he has literally a negative hairline. Okay. Thanks for having me, Mr. Carlson. You know, I think I can just easily say that this is the greatest day in my life. You know, it was my dream the first day, uh, first day I stepped in, uh, into America. And, you know, it, after I get my uh, green card, obviously it's been a rough six years because Turkish government revoked my passport and put my name on Interpol list. Um, but I think, you know, I wanted to do it because I... Didn't he originally want to change his last name to Gulen, by the way? What happened, coward? Why'd you change it to Freedom? He's just like... He literally is just like, like I will suckle on, on whatever I can. Okay, I'll do anything I can to get serious. fucking clout. So I close stream. It's I just so. Oh, I like hate that. him. I hate him so much, dude. He just sucks so bad. Up the good Isn't work. he better than Erdogan? Fuck no. And I fucking hate Erdogan. Erdogan's the reason why I don't go back to Turkey. But of course not. Are you fucking insane? All be in a water taking amana queen. You can see the irrench. They, they're, they're all terrible. Erdogan is fucking terrible, but Fidelikud is even somehow worse than Erdogan, okay? Anyway, and that's the reason why I despise Enes Kantar, because he literally is a Fidelikud supporter. He went to Samanyolu, okay? Uh, in Ankara, too, for the record. Uh, and and that is, that's a Fidelikud school. So, of course, he's a Gulenist. Remember, first time I came to America, you know, one of my teammates, it was back in 2009, uh, one of my teammates criticized the president. And I turned around and I told him, I was like, dude, what are you doing? They're going to throw you in a jail. Uh, and, he, and he told me, he started laughing and said, this is America. Don't worry about it. You are not in Turkey anymore. I was dude, I, I did. Oh, dude, this is America, bro. Very shocked. Fuck off, but, dude. Um, um, how have your teammates responded? Do you think they're as grateful to be Americans as you are? No shot as teammates. Do his teammates like this guy? Because he just sucks. He has no fucking personality. LeBron also hates him. Well, because LeBron is an honorary Turk, okay? That's why. Because LeBron is a fucking pillar of human rights, okay? A defender of human rights. Anyway, let's get back to so I definitely give this fucking uh, dickhead. And I'm going to be honest, people should feel really blessed like being, uh, being America. Because, you know, they love to the criticize it. But when you live a country like Turkey or, or, you know, China or somewhere else, you will appreciate the freedoms you have here. Yes. You know, that is exactly so I feel like they should just please, they, they, they should just keep their mouth shut and stop criticizing the great. Dude, this is the funniest fucking take. It's like... Listen, this is the funniest fucking take you can have. It's like, actually, I can't criticize my government in Turkey, okay? So people that want to criticize America, I love America because you can criticize the government. So because of that, you should shut the fuck up. And there, that's the reason why I think he's a fucking moron, okay? This baboon is so stupid that he doesn't recognize that it's the top of the hour and there's a 60 second ad break. You can't simultaneously fucking say America's great because there's free speech here, okay? And then be like, so everyone criticizing the government should shut the fuck up. <laughs> and only a dumb person would say that, which is why I think Enes Kantata, like, yeah, he's like a low-level grifter, but he's also too stupid to recognize what he's doing. He's not good at, like, no moral what he's doing. Enes Kantata on how other NBA Turks hate him. Oh, dude, other NBA Turks hate him too? Hell yeah. What? What hurts me the most is other Turkish players in the league. Mm. We have we have Arsan Yasova, we have Jedi Osman in Cleveland, we have uh, Furkan Korkmaz in Philly. Whenever we go against them, 
they don't say a word. I actually, really? I actually try to talk to them. I'm like, hey, dude, like, what's up? How you doing? No answer. Because like when I, I try to actually like, yeah, because you suck, dude. That's why you're an embarrassment. Because like they might like be scared of like a you know Turkish government that if they see a pictures or video of us talking or something, then they might be in trouble, whatever. So like I actually cover my mouth with a jersey and just try to talk to them. They turn their face the other way, you know. That was a position. And these are guys. These are guys <clears throat> you've known your whole life, right? I know. Especially Ersan, I played with him in the same team with OKC. I played with a national team. Jedi and Furkan play with my brother. Yeah, bro, that's right. If listen, listen, listen. If you fucking known this dude your entire life, and he's fucking giving you the cold shoulder, perhaps it's time for some fucking reflection. Okay, look, there's a lot of Turks in here who fucking despise me whenever I talk about Kurdish rights and whenever I talk about the Armenian genocide. Okay, they get very mad. But because Turkish nationalistic fervor is so strong that they will overlook that because like they're like, I'm so proud. I am so proud. This American guy, Hasan Abi, Hasan Abi, he's in America. He's speaking. He says, fuck Erdogan. And I love that. You know what I mean? Like they overlook all the other shit because they're so proud. The fact that you got other fucking Turkish people shitting on you in America says a lot, dude. You got to be a real fucking dog shit person for, for other Turks to not be able to overlook those qualities. You feel me? Okay, shut the fuck up, dude. He's so boring.